How does the installation of Ape Arrow Tails affect my arrow's weight in front of center? Installation does add approximately 50 grains to the standard carbon arrow. But remember, the 50 grains added was done after you cut the carbon shaft. Now that cut is key. By reducing the overall length of your carbon shaft by cutting it during the installation process, you've essentially increased the arrow's spine. Now this helps to reduce oscillation, especially at the time of launch. You know, it doesn't stop there. Ape arrow tails continue to work, countering the mass on the front end of the arrow to provide your arrow with better balance. Now most agree that an arrow before the installation of an ape arrow tail needs an average front of center of about 10 to 14 percent, depending upon the tip weight. This mass front of center actually induces oscillation and allows the nose of the arrow to dive as the energy burns out downrange. With an ape arrow tail installed on the same shaft, your new standard measure should be focused on the critical weight and balance necessary for maximum performance. Your arrow fitted with the ape arrow tail will now have a new weight and balance of 3 to 4 percent front of center. So remember, ape arrow tails counter the tip balance and have already provided you a stronger spined arrow during the installation. These two functions work together to stabilize your arrow rapidly at the time of launch and continue to work to better balance your arrow once in flight. The better balanced arrow you now have with the ape arrow tail will recover quicker from the forces of launch and they'll provide you better accuracy downrange. Ape arrow tails and their unique ability to efficiently deliver more mass will increase your kinetic energy downrange as well. You know, I think it's time to rethink the theory of front of center and discover the facts of how the added weight of ape arrow tails provide critical balance for the delivery of a flatter, deeper, and more accurate arrow that provides ethical kills.